We're joined now in the uh, Mission Director Center by John Coward, who is the Ares 1X Deputy Mission Manager from the Kennedy Space Center. And uh, John, welcome. But uh, first of all, I wonder if you could kind of give us a status, give us an update on where we stand in the countdown and uh, the activities. Well, George, right now uh, we're somewhere in the neighborhood of about a half hour down. We've uh, is once again we've been. This is a brand new rocket, doing things that uh, we don't normally do. So the the team is moving very methodically through the process right now. And so with that, and uh, probably some of you have heard, uh, we had a what's called a torque tip failure. They had to run and go get a replacement as they're putting on one of the doors. Just these things build up over time. It's uh, a natural occurrence, and uh, we're working our way through it. And you can see uh, on some of the cameras right now, they're retracting platforms, getting some of the final preps uh, to, once those platforms are full back and secured, they'll they'll move the old, uh, what we used to call the Gox Ven arm of the GVA. That's our highest access point into the rocket. Uh, you know, we've removed that, that Gox vent hood that we had and uh, put a platform in there as well as a, a purge air duct. Get those things uh, retracted and pulled back, but uh, we're only about a half hour down, like I said, as it stands right now. And uh, what I anticipate is that uh, this really won't affect our our launch time of T zero of eight o'clock. Well, give us a little bit more information about how the launch pad was modified, con reconfigured from the shuttle program for Ares One X. Well, there are a few very obvious things. Uh, the first one, of course, I just mentioned was that that old beanie cap that we had that supported the shuttle. That was, uh, as you know, since it, it went over the very top of the external tank, that was the highest point on the shuttle right there. Well, that that provided us uh, access to a door, which is really only about uh, halfway up the rocket on, on us. So uh, that that's one of the mods we've done. As I said, it gave you a platform to go in there as well as a, a purge air duct. Uh, a little further on down, we had to remove, in order to, uh, in order to put up another structure, we had to remove the orbiter access arm, which is at what we used to call the 195-foot level on the fixed service structure. Once that was removed, we were able to put into place the vehicle stabilization system. These are the two big arms that uh, you can see on some of your channels right now. These uh, actually hold on to two, for lack of a better term, two trailer balls that we installed on the side of the rocket. These are obviously very expensive and, and very uh, beefy trailer balls that allow us to hold the rocket very steady when it's out at the pad uh, in winds up to 65 knots. So we did that modification right there. And then off of the rotating service structure, just once again, we're, we're trying to be as efficient with what we had out there at the pad already and, and not build any more structure than we have to. Uh, there was one more access point we needed to build off of the rotating service structure that got us access to, into what we call the FSAM, or First Stage Avionics Module area. With those modifications done, we now have three points where we can get into the rocket, uh, one there in the upper stage, one for the FSAM, and then the uh, last one is an existing one that we're using left over from shuttle, and that gets you to the igniter at the top of the solid rocket booster. Uh, you have to go in there and do some final closeout preparations in there right before uh, we go fly, and, and so we've done that. And in fact, uh, as far as the upper stage and the uh, FSAM access, there was really no intent when we got to the pad to go in there and do any normal operations, but we wanted to maintain that capability so that if there was something that required us to go in there, we didn't have to roll all the way back to the VAB. So we did the most rudimentary things we could do in order to get us the access that we might need and, and keep operations as simple as possible. All right, John, thanks very much, and uh, we're going to be listening to this uh, weather briefing shortly, and they're getting ready to pull back the rotating service structure, so we got some activity coming up here. And uh, we'll uh, be talking with you a little bit later about uh, how we got the vehicle out to the pad. Okay, George. Thank thanks you. very much. At uh, T-minus, one hour, 11 minutes, 26 seconds and counting. Here is the uh, upper stage access arm retracting. Just as uh, we were concluding, they began to put that uh, put that in work. All right, uh, again, uh, we're now at T minus one hour, ten minutes, thirty eight seconds, and counting. This is Ares One X Launch Control. 